Hello all, Tony from Carton Cloud. With Sprint Release 86, we've updated the, the mobile app. Now, as everybody knows, we do releases every two weeks. We update the web app and we up, also update the mobile app. Now, a lot of the times you won't see, see big changes in the mobile app because a lot of the things will happen in the background. But then there's times like, like today, for instance, where we've actually got a, a little tweak which, which helps out um, your staff, you know, the staff in the warehouse. And what it is, is when we're actually on a purchase order, so you can see here on the screen, I'm on a purchase order on the iOS, uh, and I click on into the, into the purchase order, and I click on my first product, and it's looking for 60, so I put in and confirm 60 cartons. And then on the next product, I come in and I also confirm 60 cartons. And I hit confirm. Then I hit verify. Now what it's actually telling me is that these are missing batch numbers because it's a required field. So before it would just pop up and say you couldn't you couldn't verify these these products. So we're just trying to make things a lot more streamlined. So if we now come in and I go in and I go to into these products, I can actually hit the little pencil mark right up the very top and I can then go in and add in my batch number. So I might go and have a look at the product and see, yes, the batch number is, is this number here, you know, and do I need an expiry date? And I say, yes, that's my expiry date, and I save. Um, so therefore, I can then go into confirm that one and then go into my next product, and likewise, I could hit verify again, and it will tell me that number 14 is missing these batch numbers. So in I can go and just follow my nose and go through and then update. But it was just another way of, you know, just a little little tweaks we're making constantly as we're going along, just to try and make the, the life easier for not only you, but you also your staff in the warehouse. Cheers.